All right, so I think that'll work. So with that, as we taxidermize this guy, our trophy lodge is now going to be completely filled. And you may be wondering uh, what happened to the blacktail, because that was the animal you guys seem to suggest most uh, for adding to the mantle. There has been a slight change, which I think is for good reason, uh, which you'll see in just a moment. Alright, so we're here in the Trophy Lodge, and the change that I have made is that now there is a roe deer over here in this corner. Uh, he is actually quite a monster, 254.7 scorer. That's huge for a roe deer. I could not justify not taxidermizing him, and I've said uh, that I wouldn't mount a roe deer, because even a monster like this is quite small comparative to like a white-tailed deer or something like that with the big antlers that they have, but uh, this is huge. I had to taxidermize him, so I thought I'd hang him here. Uh, and put the ibex that was there on the mantle, which I'll probably switch something up eventually, but I like the ibex there. Uh, you can see the nice curl on the horns. It looks pretty good in my opinion. Uh, but you guys have asked me to go through the trophy lodge uh, and show all the different kills, so I thought I would go ahead and do that now that it is complete with that rabbit that we just got. So let's go ahead and do that. So that was my trophy lodge, and when I say it's complete, I don't mean I will never add any more animals to it. Uh, when I get a animal that is bigger than one that I have mounted, I'll replace it, obviously. I want to get a couple of 400 elk in there, one of each species, preferably. Uh, I'd like to get at least a 180 whitetail to replace the 165 that's in there, uh, and a couple other things. But I also have this rare trophy lodge going. 
So as you can see, I've got a couple of small non-typicals and the two piebalds here, uh, the red deer from the Let's Go Hunting video, and this little guy uh, was just, I don't know, a week or so ago I shot with one of my friends. And then this was the Glacier Black Bear that was in the other trophy lodge. Uh, I put him in here because he's kind of a rare, not completely, but he's the rarest fur variation uh, for the black bear. So I thought this could be his home for now since I got another black bear of roughly the same score. And then I actually have this moose over here, and of course he's not a rare, but he's a nice moose, 205 score. I didn't have room for him in the other trophy lodge, and I wanted him to be mounted because he is quite nice, as I said. So I thought he could live in here for now, uh, and when hopefully a new type of trophy lodge is released, maybe that... Uh, features more large animal plaques uh, he will go in there but for now he sits in here with the rares but yeah like in this so far I like that it is kind of balanced out at the moment like if I had another large animal down here it wouldn't be balanced but looks pretty good for now I'd like to get uh, some bigger non-typicals to put like over here and then the small ones will go up here uh, in this area and then I'm really hoping I can find like a really nice uh, non-typical mule deer to put here Although he might glitch through the roof, I didn't think of that until just now. I don't know, we'll uh, come up with something, but yeah, as I said, I will continue to swap things in the other trophy lodge, and I'll try to give you progress uh, on what I've got going anytime that I make significant progress. Not just one animal, but if I get two or three new additions, I'll try to uh, show them in a video, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that kind of style of showing off the trophy lodge, uh, the kind of montage that I did there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and... Thanks for sticking around. If anybody left early, they didn't get to see the rarest part of the trophy lodge. But yeah, with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.